Hi Year 5, it's Mr Robinson here again, ready to introduce today, Tuesday the 26th of January's home learning. Your home learning today in English is continuing the work that we've been doing on Greek myths and looking at a different Greek myth. This time we're looking at the myth of Prometheus and the stolen fire. So I'll read a little bit to you now. Many years ago there lived Prometheus, a son of a titan called Lepetus. Prometheus was always thinking of the future and making things ready for what might happen tomorrow, or next week, or even in a hundred years' time. Prometheus did not want to live amongst the clouds on Mount Olympus with the other gods, as he was too busy for that. While the gods were spending their time in idleness, drinking nectar and eating ambrosia, he was planning how to make the world wiser and better than it had We want to, you to continue reading the start of the myth year five, and then using your inference skills, that's reading between the lines, thinking about what might be happening. We want you to come up with a prediction for what you think happens at the end of the myth. Really look forward to reading your predictions year five. Your maths for today is looking at the opposite of what we looked at yesterday. Those were multiples. Today we're looking at the factors. So a quick recap from yesterday. The multiples are any number that you would say in a given times tables, or if you carried on counting beyond that. Today, factors are those numbers that will divide exactly into a given number. So for example, 12. 12 you can divide by one, it equals 12. 12 you can divide by 12 it equals 1. You can divide 12 by 2 and you'll get 6. Or you can divide 12 by 6 and get 2. You can also divide 12 by 3 to get 4. Or you could divide 12 by 4 to get 3. That means, year 5, that in order, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. All those numbers that you can divide 12 by. We've posted an example online so you can see how this works and a worksheet for you to complete. In the afternoon, today's topic is geography. So we're continuing our work at looking at Greece and the Greek islands. And today is all about preparation for next week. Next week, year five, you'll be writing a holiday brochure, advertising or persuading people to come to Greece. Now, what will you need to do in order to complete that next week? Well, you'll need to do some research today. So you'll need to research why is it that although 11 million people live in Greece, 26 million people, that's over double before the pandemic, visited Greece on average each year. Why do so many people go there? What landmarks are there to see? What other attractions are there? Think about the climate and the weather. Think about the things that people like to see and do, the food that they might eat, or the culture that they might sample. You might link it into some of the work that you've been doing in history on ancient Greece. We look forward to reading all your great research, Year 5. Don't forget, there's a Times Tables Rockstar Battle taking place right now, even as we speak. What are you doing watching this video? Go on, log on to your Times Tables Rockstars. That's all from me, Year 5. We'll post another one of these tomorrow. Bye for now.